All right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Chrono Trigger DS. In the last episode, we got to the Ocean Palace. It's kind of bright. One second. Much better. <laughs> All right. So in the last episode, we got to the Ocean Palace, and I believe I've already said that. So now we fight these things. Oh, I love that. You, you know you're like in for a good time when, uh, even when you get into a battle, it all stays the same. It, really? My DS is about to die. Uh, it's still got a bit of charge left in it. All right, well, those yellow ones, searchers, I believe they're called, uh, you can only deal major damage to them with lightning techs. And thankfully, we have Chrono. Chrono is lightning, too. Double hit. Plus, we're getting some pretty good TP here. Eonian suit. Good. Chrono hasn't upgraded in a while. Nah, sadly, though, we really shouldn't be updating him. Nah. Uh, nah, well. Zealot Mage. Charm the survivors. <sighs> I love my last class of the day. Like, in the last 15 minutes, we do nothing. Like, if we want to, we can just sit around. Are those red? I think those are red. Like, if we want to, we can just sit around. That's exactly what we did. So, well, one kid pulled out his PSP and, uh, was playing Final Fantasy VII most of the time. He was about the part where Cloud was having his flashback at Calm. So yeah. It was pretty cool. Dude's cool. I like him. He's cool. He's cool, he's cool, he's cool, he's cool, he's cool, he's cool. I have no idea what that means. Alright. We haven't upgraded Luke Microx in a while. Wait a minute. I just noticed some Chrono's weapon is called the Zanmato. It's like Yojimbo's one-hit kill in Final Fantasy X. I like Yojimbo. He's cool. It's an awesome name, Yojimbo. Wait a minute. The map says we should be able to get up there, but I guess we can't. Yojimbo. Yo, Jimbo! There's not much we can do here. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Ocean Palace. Like, everything else in 12,000 BC is a blast, but... The Ocean Palace... I would have been happier if it wasn't in the game. I mean, it leads the way to a, an amazing plot point, but... In my opinion, it just... The game could have been better without it. Well, he had to make that difficult for us. We just gotta hit him hard then. Tailspin, it takes a ton of uh, MP. However, it's magical. And it's non-elemental, so, um... If an enemy has an elemental resistance, it'll just hit right through that. Empyrean Blade. Well, looks like we're replacing the Zanmato. This is a shame. Because Empyrean Blade doesn't sound nearly as cool as Zanmato.
So originally I've been trying to Final Fantasy VIII again, even though I said I hated it. And I still do. It's a very, very poorly done game. But, uh... Oh, still alive. Cool. That's, uh, makes me take it out. Water. I mean, it's a pretty poorly done game, but, uh... I don't know, I've been playing it again, and it's not as bad as it could be. Like, I'm a disc 2, and I'm, someone's saying this is the best part of the game, and I'm definitely not looking forward to that, and I've already been in this room. What is this? Now, why do they talk to Suavo this way? So yeah, we're pretty much just walking around, trying to find our way in this world. Uh, but in the end, we're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl. Alright, so I'll prove your worth. Water 2! One second, and I'm back. I was just checking uh, when Chrono was going to get his ultimate tech. And eh, not soon. He needs like 724 TP. But, uh... Frog's pretty close to learning his ultimate tech. Albeit he's kind of nearing the end of his usefulness. Kaiser Arm, Upgrade Robo. Who hasn't been upgraded in a while? Alright, I already know exactly how I'm going to take care of this guy. Arb, Boulder Toss, Frenzy, and when Soma can attack, he'll do water on the uh, Blue Scatter. Do the uh, red ones have more? Oh no, no. There's the problem. The uh, Zanmato does more damage against uh, magical beams. The Empyrean Blade doesn't, so right here... At this point of the game, I'm better off keeping the Zanmato on. Silly me. I still know exactly how I'm going to take care of him. Boulder Toss. Frenzy. Water. You see? Has anyone seen, like, all those, like, Zanmato videos on a... This site. Like, they'll be taking out the uh, Dark Aeons with uh, Yojimbo Zanmato. It's pretty cool, I like them. If I'm mistaken, you can take out the final boss with it, too. Oh, I know. Like even the uh, super, like in, even in the international version, uh, Zen Mata will take out the uh, optional super boss. It's kind of a cheap way to do it. When I mean, they put the optional super boss there for a reason, it was supposed to be a challenge. I mean, if you're just going to Zen Mata your way through the game, that's what's the point? It'd be kind of nice for like to see what it does. I'm like, oh yeah, I can take out. Uh, 
any boss I want. But, uh... Really? Like how one of my good online buddies actually needed, uh... The Knights of the Round material to take out the final boss on uh, Final Fantasy VII. Is Knights of the Round the only multi-hit summon in that game? I think it is. Like, I think I calculated like the max amount of damage it'll do. It's like a, about 130,000. Like the max amount of damage that uh, Knights of the Round will do. Like almost 130,000. Oh god, there's a lot of Zealot Mages and such. Let's take them out, because they scare me. Prancy's such a cool move. You done goofed. You done goofed too. I think the Zen Motto and the Amasa Mune have like the same effects. And I'm gonna end this here, because we're running out of time and I don't really know what to do next and I'm kinda getting bored. <laughs> Alright, so if you liked what you saw, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. If you didn't, please tell me what I could do to fix that. Alright, have a nice day. Thank you and have a nice day. <laughs>